this story about you living with strippers for many years. Is that correct? Oh, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm at, I know it's the truth. I mean, you, but you put it out there on Twitter. So, so tell us more about that. Well, you know when to pick your battles with them. If they say something, they'll tell you one time. You worry about your job, and I'll worry about mine. So you never mention it again. You don't want to tick them off. Okay. All right. That's good advice for every anybody who's living with strippers right now. Did the relationship yeah. go from friendship into sexual with these strippers? No. It did not. Well, once I knew them, I was in. Once you're in, you're in. Right. They don't trust a lot of people. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's... Like like a pit bull kind of, you know. I mean, you you yeah, got to be yeah. right. So, but you at no point tried to make sexual advances on these stripper roommates of yours. You just stayed platonic. No, 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 no. They were girlfriends. They were girlfriends. Yes. Okay. So I said I I asked you if you had a physical sexual relationship with them. You said no, and now you're telling me they were girlfriends. No, no. You right away and i and, okay. and usually it, it happened in a few days it didn't take long okay i had one actually i was dating one i wasn't living with her i was trying to pick this one up and then i said well three strikes i'm out so i'm out waiting for one of them to get off work at like 10 of eight and she says your girlfriend's ugly hmm. i said well you don't give me no time of day and she said well you didn't try hard enough Interesting. So that was your in. That was the icebreaker. Yeah, that's the stripper number two. Now, when you moved in with them, you hadn't had a sexual relationship. You just had that was the trust factor. Hey, I'm going to live with Eddie for a while. And then eventually they trusted you and then you sealed the deal. Yeah, they they trusted me first and then I sealed the deal. Okay. All right. Perfect. So that makes a little bit more sense. Did they pay rent or did they live? Oh, yeah, they paid half of it. Really? Wow. One time I got I got hurt and I didn't work for nine weeks and they she paid it all. Really? See, I thought that these yeah. strippers were were just I don't know with the way things go in life. I thought that because you were a customer and a guy and everything else that maybe you said, "Hey, come live with me. I'll house you." And then no, no, no. no it's I not. wasn't a customer. I they knew me. How did they you get me. everything for free in a strip club? I knew the bartenders too. So they just let you run roughshod in this place and get whatever you wanted? They what I wanted. Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's interesting. Because you were a celebrity jockey or just because based no, on your personality? No, because I was, a, I was a nice guy. Because you were a nice guy. All right. All right. Interesting. How many years ago was this? Uh, 25 was the last one. 25 years ago was the last stripper that yeah, you lived the with. the last one was a twin. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you see the other twin? Yes, I've seen her. Did of course, you, they work together. They work together. The twins work together. Do you have, yeah. did did you get both of them at the same time? No, 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 no. Okay. No, they didn't, they would not go for that. Did you ask? No. Oh, okay. I feel like that's I a missed had, opportunity. I had one ask me, uh, you can come over and me and your girlfriend. And when I went over, there was another one laying on the couch. And they grabbed me in the other room and said, can Alex stay? She doesn't want to go to work. I said, sure, she can stay. And I'm thinking, she's the best looking of the three. She must have been a nice young whippersnapper back then. Yes, I had teeth. You had teeth. You were probably the good looking guy. You know, the whole thing. And money. Right, right, right. And it's so, do you go to strip clubs still to this day? No, I haven't been to one in years. Really? So you were able to just drop that habit? Yeah, why not? Well, why not? It seemed like, why not? You dated four well, different strippers. Get, you no, live no, with no, them, and you have a foursome with one of them. What do you mean? Why? It's not just something you run away from. I, I wasn't going to pick one up when I was in my 40s or in their 20s. Yeah, I just thought, but still, you still, I just thought maybe you'd still go and enjoy the atmosphere, you know? Well, I haven't been in years. All right, good to know. Get these new teeth you go, though. Right, exactly. W will that make you go back to the strip club if you get the new chompers? No. no. I'm too old. He's too old. He's, He's too done. old. He's All right. done. All right, you're done with that part of your life. Okay. I'm done with that. Very yeah. good. Do you still keep in contact with the ladies that you live with, these old girlfriends? No, some of them are dead. One of them hung herself oh, when she was 27. Oh, man. Jesus, Eddie. Oh, man, that's horrible.
Did you? Yeah, it was. Were you with her at the time? But I, I wasn't with her then. Oh, my goodness. That is, that is brutal, Eddie. I'm sorry that you lost a friend yeah. like that. Yeah. Wow, man. You've been through some stuff, man. Yes. Wow. So are you uh, betting on tonight's uh, Hofstra-Towson game? I'm thinking about it. You are. Which uh, which way are you thinking? Well, Hofstra had a tough game the last time, and they regressed, but I still might take them. Okay. Did you think about this game before you knew I was going to the game? Yes, yes. I thought about it yesterday. I do research the day before a lot of times. Okay, so you're not just picking the game because I'm going to be there because I am not going to, like, you know, trip a player or something to make you win your bet. I'm not I'm not going to be that guy. Yeah, I wouldn't try Charles Thompson. He's uh, 6'7", 235. <laughs> ah, yeah. you know, he knows the stuff. There you go. All right, Eddie. Well, listen, I, if, you're, if you're leaning Towson, don't t- uh, Eddie, anything else you want to let us know before uh, we go today? Uh, I had a friend that fought Macho Camacho and the Tasmanian Devil. He lost, but at least he got in the ring with him. <laughs> That's pretty he cool. Is he is he still alive? No, he got killed. Okay. Ooh, what yeah, do you mean he got, he got killed, killed? A long time ago. What do you mean he, he got? Don King ripped him off. He was the Camacho. He was supposed to get twenty thousand, and Don King deducted hotels and train receipts. Wow! So he got he got ripped off when he fought Hector Macho Camacho yeah, and, and yeah, Don. Yeah, last five. Okay. Wow. And then um, and, and he got he got murdered. Yeah. Do you know the details around that? Oh yeah, I know what happened. He was uh, dealing heavy duty drugs. He had plenty of money. They come in and robbed him and stole him did, and killed him while they were at it. Did those people get caught and prosecuted? Are they in jail? No, they never caught him. Oh my goodness. Jeez, man. Mm. I tell you. All right, Eddie. Well, um, this is some heavy information you dropped on us today. But uh, I understand it's true, and it gives us more perspective on your life.